In this video, we will look at how your perception of reality affects your feelings. Also, if you watch till the end, I will share with you five things that you can do to change your perception and interpretation of reality so that you can improve the way you feel. Your feelings are real. But don't forget that they're not always a true reflection of reality. For example, you might feel like it's the end of the world. But is the world really ending? Of course not. Your feelings are just your body's emotional response to your mind's perception and interpretation of reality. You can feel like your parents hate you even if they don't because that's how you perceive and interpret their words and behavior. You can feel like your office mates are rejecting you because of how you interpret their treatment of you. Or sometimes you can feel like your situation is hopeless because your mind can't see a way out of your problem. But that doesn't mean that there's no way out of your problem. It just means that as of now, your mind cannot see a way out of it yet. And that's why you're emotionally responding with a feeling of hopelessness. Just always remember that your feelings are just feelings. And they might be real and valid, but your perception and interpretation of reality can be wrong. And they're not always accurate, they're oftentimes exaggerated, and they can change over time. So that's why if you want to change the way you feel, you don't invalidate your feelings, and you don't try to force yourself to feel another way. Instead, you work on changing the way you perceive and interpret reality. In the same way, if you want to help someone change the way they feel, don't invalidate their feelings. Don't just tell them that they shouldn't feel that way. Instead, help them to have a better perception and interpretation of reality. Also, if you're a Christian and you want to help someone, don't use the scripture to invalidate their feelings. Use the scripture effectively to help them change their perception and interpretation of reality. That's why the Bible teaches us in Romans 12 too, to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Remember, as perception changes, feelings also change. Before we continue, if you found this information helpful, Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more life lessons on behavior, relationship, and spirituality. To help you have a better perception and interpretation of reality, here are a few things that might help. 1. Avoid catastrophizing Remind yourself to stick to the facts and avoid exaggerating what's happening in your life. 2. Don't make any decisions when you're too emotionally high or emotionally low. Wait for your emotions to settle so you can process information more clearly. 3. Get as much healing as you can from past emotional wounds and trauma. Our past experiences play a big role in the way we interpret reality. So the more healing we get, the better and healthier our perception and interpretation will be. Four, Listen to advice. Be open to other people's perception and interpretation of your situation and of your reality. And lastly, number five, develop solid values, beliefs, and principles. For me, I base my values, beliefs, and principles on the Bible. And I do my best to perceive and interpret reality based on my faith and based on the principles I've learned through the years. This allows me to see my situation through the eyes of faith and it allows me to have hope even during the most difficult and challenging times. So be before we end, remember that the key to changing how you feel lies in changing the way you perceive and interpret the reality around you. I hope this was helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below and see you in the next video.